Following a hospitalization, patients may need additional inpatient rehabilitation services, sometimes referred to as inpatient rehab. Inpatient means these rehabilitation services are provided while you stay at a medical facility for one or more nights. The two options are receiving acute rehabilitation services in a rehabilitation hospital or subacute rehabilitation services in a skilled nursing facility. In this video, you will learn how Medicare can help cover some of these costs. This video includes some specific details about the Medicare rules. Don't worry if you don't catch all of these details the first time. You can certainly watch this video more than once if you wish. At the end of this video, there will also be information on how to get an explanation of these rules from the government's Medicare website. Acute rehab facilities are for those who need more complex rehabilitation services from a range of medical specialists. Medicare will pay for acute rehab services only if you have a qualifying diagnosis and are able to participate in three hours of therapy a day. You can ask your doctor if you qualify for acute rehab services. Subacute rehab facilities are for people who need basic rehabilitation services in order to return to their prior living situation. Most patients who are sent for subacute rehab go to a skilled nursing facility. These facilities have both short term and long term care available. Medicare will cover a stay of up to 100 nights in a skilled nursing facility. However, it is important to understand that coverage for the full 100 nights is not guaranteed. It is provided only for as long as you need skilled nursing services. These services may include things like physical therapy or wound care. To qualify for this skilled nursing facility coverage, you must have, during the previous month, spent at least three consecutive nights in a hospital. Additionally, these three nights must be considered as an inpatient stay and not under observation status. Ask a social worker or case manager to learn more about the observation status. Medicare will pay 100% of the cost for the first 20 days in a skilled nursing facility. From day 21 to 100, Medicare covers 80% and if you have a second insurance policy, it will often cover the other 20%. If your doctor advises that you go for subacute rehab, your social worker can give you a list of subacute facilities available in your area. The government's Medicare website has the latest Department of Health ratings for these facilities. If possible, have a relative or friend go and tour the facilities for you. This can help you make an informed decision about which facility might be the best choice for you. You will need to give the social worker the names of two or three facilities you are considering. The social worker will contact them for you. Someone from the facility may then come to speak with you to be sure you meet the eligibility criteria. Once you know which facilities have accepted you and have a bed available, you can select the one you would like to go to. To get more information on the topics discussed in this video, you can look at the government's Medicare website you can do this most easily by just doing a computer search for Medicare.gov or by calling 800-MEDICARE.